bit of terrorism fears rising overseas now, um, particularly in Europe. And European countries are warning some of them against traveling to the United States. You know, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, uh, Canada, even all among the countries that have urged caution uh, to travelers who are coming here to the United States, which is something different, right? They cite things like mass shootings, police violence, anti-Muslim and anti-LGBT attitudes. Even the Zika virus has been cited in some of these warnings. So Leo Abamanti joins us. He's a travel act expert, and Lee's claim to fame has always been that he's the youngest person that's visited every single country. So you would know about this, and you've been everywhere. It is a weird phenomenon, isn't it, that we're so used to reporting on, you know, we Americans shouldn't go to X, Y, Z, but now these countries are saying don't come here. Is it uh, an overreaction? What do you make of it? Well, I don't necessarily think it's an overreaction. I mean, if anything happens in another country, the State Department issues a travel warning. So this is kind of coming full circle, in my view. And let's be honest, we've had a lot of issues in the past couple of years. So it's, it's hard to blame these countries for issuing a travel warning coming to the U.S. Now, we're a huge country, though. And, you know, you, you, uh, still events like this, even if you're traveling to another country, they are low probability events, right? I mean, what do you tell people who come to you, someone who does travel all, all over the place, and they're, they're worried about a terrorism threat or something like that? Of course, and I travel outside the country quite a bit, but I mean, the U.S. has travel warnings to places like Mexico, also a huge country, and they have some violent issues which are obviously well publicized, but so do we. So does France. I mean, France has had three major issues in the last 18 months. We haven't issued a travel warning to them, but a lot of people have come up to me, and I was in France for about three weeks in June, and are like, oh, wow, you're crazy for going to France. And it's a big country, it, it's random events, anything can happen anytime, right. whether it's the U.S., France, Germany, Canada, anywhere. You think people really listen to these warnings in your experience? And I ask that because if they do, it could have a detrimental effect on our economy, potentially. Well, I think it's not necessarily the travel warnings that make people listen or avoid coming to the U.S. I think it's uh, if there's an event that happens, you know, Sandy Hook, uh, Orlando, whatever it might be, that's so publicized on Fox News and other major networks and around the world, whether it's uh, international news or BBC or whatever it is. And people see that and they see all these gun incidents and anti uh, uh, whatever sentiment, you know, whether it's from politicians or other people in America, and they're like, wow, maybe I'll avoid gun Going there, not to mention there's a lot of uh, bureaucracy and paperwork hassles coming here. So I think it's all contributing to a, a sense of people not wanting to go to America just to basically avoid hassles. And it's sad to see as an American, but I understand where they're coming from. Lee, thanks. It's good to see you. We'll talk to you again soon about uh, one of these big stories, okay?